Today we're doing a shootout between two industry standard microphones, the Shure SM57 and the Sennheiser E906. Let's do it. Welcome back to the channel folks, this is Shane. Today I actually went out and purchased two microphones, the Sennheiser E906. I've heard so much about this and seen it in so many videos, I thought I'd give it a shot, versus the SM57. All these years on the channel, I've been using SM57 copies, so I thought, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna go out and actually buy a real one, and also one of these, and compare them. So let's take a look up close. While these microphones look vastly different to each other, they do share two things in common. The first thing they share is the fact they're both dynamic microphones. They don't need phantom power on your audio interface or mixer or anything like that to get the most out of them. The second thing is they both totally rock for electric guitar amplifiers. You see these all over the place. The back of the Sennheiser E906 definitely has a few more options, but we're gonna leave the EQ set right in the center on the flat line. I don't wanna enhance the sound from this microphone in this particular test. You can hear, well, I guess apples and oranges, <laughs> whatever you wanna call it. So we're gonna make it as fair as we can in this video. Let's do it. All right, let's start clean on my Fender Blues Deluxe Reissue Amplifier. It's loaded with an eminent Swamp Thing speaker, so a much more premium speaker than the stock one. This is neck and middle pickup on my Mexican standard Stratocaster. Let's try some lead neck pickup tones now, here we go. This test will be the crunch channel on my Marshall DSL 40CR amplifier and I've got the masters up at full and we're on the 20 watt mode, neck pickup on the flying V. Ultra gain channel on the Marshall DSL 40, neck pickup.
lastly, I've got my hands on a Mesa Boogie Fillmore 50 amplifier. It's on loan from a good friend of mine. So I thought I'd throw this in as well, just for a different flavor. Not everyone will play a Fender or a Marshall. A lot of people play these kind of amps. So this is the high gain channel on Bridge Pickup. Here we go. <laughs> Try the clean channel on the boogie as well. This is neck pickup. Here we go. Thanks for watching guys, this is Shane. So I hope this video has been helpful. I thought I'd mix it up and show you how it sounded through a number of different amplifiers and a few different tones as well because everybody likes different stuff. Let me know which one you like best and why or did you like the blended tone the best out of all of them? I'm yet to listen to this back. So I'm pretty interested to see whether or not or how good it actually sounds with both of them together. I'm pretty certain that should sound pretty wild. Now, just to let you know, I tried my best to space both of these microphones evenly on both of the amplifiers. The Blues Deluxe has an off-centered speaker, so that's why they were kind of all pushed to the left. So just keep that in mind. I tried my best to get them in exactly the same spot without being right over the actual cap, because I don't really like that tone. So they were just slightly off from the actual center of the speaker. So I hope this video has been helpful. If you want to find out about these, links will be down below as well. Overall, I'm pretty happy I've actually got myself an official SM57 after years and years of recording. And I can't wait to see what this one's like. So let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching. My name's Shane. I'll catch you soon. See ya.